The new Mac OS public beta is here. That's Monterey. I'm going to show you how you can download it right now and why maybe you should hold off. Just like the Windows 11 dev beta is available now, if you want to take your chances and install it on your laptop, well, the new Mac OS Monterey beta is also available. It's actually a little bit, I would say, further down the line than Windows 11 is. If you want to get the Windows 11 beta, that is the dev channel beta. That is a very early version, and they tell you a lot of stuff just may not work. It's not really for the faint of heart. For the Mac OS beta, the Monterey beta, that is a public beta. Really, anybody can go and download it, which says that Apple has a little bit more confidence in where that beta operating system update is right now. Previously, there was a dev beta for that, and you had to you know, sign up specially to get that. That really wasn't ready for public consumption. I think we're definitely closer here. So if you want to get that Mac OS beta, you go to Apple's public beta website. You can just Google it. We'll put a link down below somewhere. Uh, and once you're there, it's going to say, if you want to participate, you can either sign in to our beta program or you can sign up for our beta program if you have not previously done anything like that. You basically just sign in with your Apple ID. And if you've already done this before, great. You move along from there. And if you're enrolling for the first time, it happens instantaneously. There's really no delay there. Once your specific Mac is enrolled, uh, Apple will let you download the public access beta utility. You run that and then it's going to start doing an update and downloading the Monterey Mac OS beta. Now, when I tried to do that today, it was taking a really long time. I bet everyone is doing it at the same time today. Uh, it, it said at least three hours to finish the download. So I'm waiting for that to happen right now. Once that finishes downloading, I will install it and make sure everything works. Now, I always warn people if it's an operating system beta, whether it's iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, Windows, no matter how public or almost final a beta is, you may not want to install it on what I call your mission critical system. Maybe it's the only laptop or desktop you have, you need it to work right for work or for school or for anything else. Uh, really, you can't afford to have anything go wrong. You know what, if that's you, wait for the actual full release, which should come this fall, also later in the fall for Windows 11, if you're on the Windows 11 side of this. Because any beta software, especially operating system betas, there's a chance it could mess things up, things might not work right, you may want to revert back to the old version because uh, something you need to use is not working. There's a million reasons why. Now, if you're not using a mission critical system, you can afford to have things go a little wonky or you have a secondary laptop, well then go right ahead and install the Monterey beta. Uh, since it is a publicly available beta, frankly, it should be pretty stable at this point. That's one of the reasons why Apple suggests you make a backup, uh, specifically they say a time machine backup, in case the beta OS install is not working for you and you wanna roll it back easily. Well, after several hours, I finally got the Mac OS Monterey public beta installed. It was actually, I think, a lot easier overall than doing the Windows 10 to Windows 11 beta update. Uh, far fewer uh, updates to download first and then restarts after restarts. It did take a while to download. Maybe everybody's doing it at the same time. But after that, it was pretty smooth sailing. If your Mac is enrolled in the Apple Beta OS program and you want to leave it, if you go to Software Update, click on Details, uh, that shows you how you can leave the beta program and you won't get any more beta updates. And if you want to roll all the way back and get rid of the beta, hopefully you've made a Time Machine backup and it's relatively easy to restore from that to get back to where you were. If you're really concerned about bugs, then I would wait until the final public version of this new OS is available sometime later this fall. If you don't mind taking a little bit of a chance, well, the public beta is available now and it's pretty easy to get and install. Like and subscribe for more videos on how to do it all. Thanks for watching.